Let's begin by installing R and R Studio. First, why do we need two softwares instead of just one? The difference is, R is the main software where the core of the computations related to the R programming language itself happens. While R Studio, it is an integrated developing environment that uses R as its backend to do the computations, but it comes with a host of features that improves the look and feel and makes the programming with R much more convenient. So let's first install R. In order to get your R Studio to work, you need to have R software first. So to install R, go to cran.rproject.org site. So once you are inside cran, you have three links, one for Linux, one for Mac OS X and one for Windows. R is available for these three OS's. Currently I am using the Mac OS. Once you go into that page, you will see something like this. The latest version of R will always come up on the top. At the time of recording this video, the latest version is 3.2.0. So I will click on this link to get the corresponding .pkg file. So I'll click and the download starts. But I already have downloaded this package specifically. So I will just discard this and show how to install the Windows version. Just refreshing this page. I will again be taken to this screen and I'll click on download R for Windows. Go to install R for the first time. And you will be taken to a page like this. Probably you will see an updated version of R. Right now at this time it's 3.2.0. So whatever the latest version, download it by clicking on this link. So there's no need for me to download this because I'm using the Mac version. But once this download is complete for you, come back and watch the rest of the video. Let's install RStudio by going to rstudio.com. It will take you to the home page of RStudio website. Once inside, click download RStudio. The screen layout may change, but there must be a link on your screen where you can download RStudio. So go to that page. Again, you will see two versions, the desktop and the server. We don't need to concern with that server version now. Just go to desktop and it will take you to a free version and a commercial version. We don't need the commercial version. So download RStudio desktop, the free version. And again, based on your voice version, click on the respective one. So while this is downloading, let's install R. Here I have the two files I need to get R and RStudio working. First, I will go ahead and install R.pkg. You will get a screen like this once you open that file. And I'll just click continue, 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 agree install it will ask for the password just give the password and install the software this may take a minute yep installation was successful just close it now let me go ahead and install the r studio as well select that icon and run it i will drag r studio app to the applications it is copied by now i will just run this And there you go, your RStudio is also ready. You may have noticed installing RStudio is like installing any other software on Mac. The same applies to Windows as well. If you have installed any software at any point of time, the process remains the same. There is no specific tricks that you need to do to get it working.